That's how you know this is a Titanic video, when you hear that haunting melody. I'm not going to go too much into what the Titanic was, because I think we're all pretty clear on that. The year is 1912. The RMS Titanic is a massive ship leaving the UK bound for New York City, carrying 2,224 passengers and crew. Four days into the journey, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, the ship hits an iceberg. Say it with me now. Iceberg! Right ahead! Hits an iceberg, sinks, and in the ensuing chaos, just over 700 people are rescued and approximately 1,500 people die. Recently, I was watching a Titanic documentary thing on Netflix, and I realized even as ubiquitous as the Titanic still is in culture, I had never actually seen anything on what happened to the 1,500 people that died. Dead bodies don't just disappear. Where did they go? So we have 1,500 deceased people. To start, how many of them actually went down with the ship, sucked down over two miles to the sea floor? How many of them managed to make it to the surface in their life jackets, only to die within 15 minutes of hypothermia in the frigid 28 degree water? How many of them died from injuries, from falling funnels and the breaking apart of the ship? We'll never know the exact numbers, although there are lots of message boards full of people with opinions on this, as I have discovered. We do know that in total, about 340 bodies were recovered, which means 1,160 bodies were never seen again. But that does not mean that they went down with the ship. You have to understand how the body recovery effort was carried out. The Mackie Bennett, the ship sent out to recover the corpses, didn't leave Nova Scotia until three days after the sinking and didn't arrive at the wreck site until a full week later. By this time, bodies had scattered, been exposed to the elements, sea life and birds were like, what are these floating treats? This is all to say that the men didn't find pristine, preserved corpses floating on the surface. This is the open ocean, man. Fortunately, many of the bodies did cluster together and were said to look through the mist, like a flock of seagulls in their white life jackets. The first day, they recovered 51 bodies. In total, the Mackie Bennett recovered 306 bodies. Another boat recovered 17, another boat recovered three, yet another boat found three people in a lifeboat a month later, 200 miles away from the wreck site. So it's impossible to know how many people either sunk or floated away, ne'er to be seen again. What I definitely didn't know is that the bodies they thought were too disfigured for identification, they wrapped them in canvas, weighed down with iron bars, and just put them back in the ocean. 166 bodies they did this with. There's an incredible picture from the deck of the Mackie Bennett. The ones they decided there was hope for, I guess, they embalmed on the ship and put in coffins. The funeral home in Nova Scotia handling all of this was, wait for it, John Snow and Company, which used the local curling rink as a temporary morgue when the ship returned, which, how very Canada of you. There are 150 people buried in Halifax, half of whom were never identified. As for the people trapped inside the ship as it went down, mostly third class and steerage passengers, possibly hundreds, I know what you're thinking. Are they still, like, down? Even this answer is complicated and fraught with controversy. Let's assume that most of the bodies were exposed to normal deep sea currents. Those currents would bring in fresh oxygen, which would decompose the bodies. They would also bring in deep sea scavenger animals like worms and fish, which would eat the bodies. So those people are likely long gone. But what about a body trapped deep within the ship, say in an engine room? If there's no oxygen, no scavenger animals, it's possible there would still be remnants of bodies down there. Don't worry, James Cameron has an opinion on this. At first I was like, why are you the expert movie guy? Oh, you've been down to the wreck well over 30 times, more than anyone else in the world? Okay, proceed. Cameron told the New York Times, I have seen zero human remains, and was apparently visibly miffed as he said this. The US government, in an attempt to keep people from salvaging the wreckage, has attempted to declare it a memorial site, even releasing this photo saying, here's a coat and a boot. There are 
clearly dead people down there. But leather doesn't decompose like a human body would under those conditions. So if a body really is decomposed into the ocean floor sediment, is it human remains or is it just mud? I don't know, and it completely depends on who you're talking to. I have enough information for an hour-long special on this, but this is the internet and you're already exhausted, so I'll end it here. Subscribe to this channel, I put out new videos every... so often. <laughs> Brought to you with support from People's Memorial Association and the Co-op Funeral Home, and donations from viewers like you. Are they still, like, down there?